Protect the Shield podcast. Let's get it. I would hear stories of, you know, the coaches would have their mind set on someone, and then in the final hour, Al would come in like, hey, no, we're going with him. And I'm like, was it really like that? Oh, yes, it was. I mean, I can tell you a story um, with the linebacker. How about I forget his name from Alabama? Rolando um, McClain. Oh, I'll never forget this story. We were sitting and here. I am. I'm, I'm there for the first time, and we're watching the tape now. He would sit there and watch the tape with us. Yeah. When you walked into that draft room, all the times from the 40s and high school times were already up there. That's crazy. And I'll never forget, we were watching the tape, and uh, Al said, boy, we're taking this guy. And he goes, anybody has, you know, anything they want to say? And everybody wasn't going to say anything. I didn't know any better. So I started talking. I started getting kicked underneath the table from one of the assistant coaches, like, don't say don't nothing. Do you know, here I am. And I'm going, <laughs> and he goes, who's talking? Oh. I said, Hugh Jackson. He goes, oh, the great Hugh Jackson, huh? He goes, what do uh -huh. you know about linebackers? I go, well, I was just with Ray Lewis, you know, and I, and I know what the, the great ones look like. Because what I thought, Ronaldo was a really good player. But at yeah. the point of attack, he was different. He didn't yeah. take things on. He was a chase player. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Ray Lewis chased and Got, took things yeah. on at the point of yeah. attack. And so he says, <laughs> I'll never forget, he goes, he goes, well, regardless of what you think, he goes, we're taking this guy. And that was it. So I'll never forget that night I was sitting at home, my phone rings. And Monica Sweeten time, I'll never forget it because she was a secretary. Al Davis never said bye and he never called you. Somebody else would always call you first. And, uh -huh. and Monica says, she says, Al's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. And I go, okay. So I got on the phone and Al says, okay, so you felt like you needed to say something in that meeting today. And I go, yeah. And he goes, well, thank you. He gave, cause most guys won't say anything. I go, well, <laughs> I go, I just, I knew what I saw. And he goes, well, and he was very blunt about it. He says, I don't care what you saw. <laughs> <laughs> he said we're that's taking great. this guy as the first great. pick of the draft he goes and that is it he says but i appreciate you saying what you feel click and hug up the phone oh man it the rest the rest was history and then that next year i already knew that we were taking jacoby Ford in the third round because that was decided way before the draft it, it was already done Oh man, and, and that's who Al was, and but you have an appreciation for that, right? I mean, because he studied it. It'd be different if he didn't, and, right. and, and and if he was here today, he would say, "Hey, look, I made some mistakes on some things." He would. I mean, uh, Darius Hayward Bay, bless him. Darius Hayward Bay just had a great career, but we all know with the sixth overall pick as a receiver, you wish you got more out of him. Yeah. But we did. But we did in 2011. He almost had a thousand yards receiving. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's just. There's things that I think he would have done over, but at the same time, he he was so influenced by what he was influenced by, you couldn't help but respect it because he knew what it looked like, what it felt like, and what it should play like.